What is going on YouTube? Tom here, and yes, behind me I have my Daily Driver 2020 Toyota Tacoma. Now, as you all see, there is something on the roof. That is a Tool Guards rooftop bag, which I got from Amazon. The company reached out to me and said, hey, do you want to try it? Review it, we'll send you one. If you like it, go ahead and keep it. I said, sure, why not? Also, ignore the face being all clean shaven. I had to shave a couple weeks ago for work. So definitely this would actually be a real good time to, to announce a razor sponsor, if I had one. I don't, but those guys should hit me up next. Of course, we got the rooftop bag over here. As you can see, I do not have a roof rack on the truck, but no matter, they sent me for that. A pair, actually a set of straps you put on the truck that locks in below your weather stripping. Don't worry, this actually works better than it looks. I wanna get up on the truck and I'm gonna show you the cargo I have in here. All right, if we come up top here, I have a pair of large suitcases. You can't see it up front, but I do in fact have a third small size travel bag. So three bags in this rooftop bag. This is the 15 cubic foot model, which sells on Amazon for about $125 with tax and shipping. And they also have a larger 23 cubic foot model. So let's try the 15 first. Obviously, if it's good, maybe I'll recommend the 23 next, but two bags, this would be perfect for, you know, if it's just you, your significant other, or maybe if you pack lightly, you could probably get children. And of course, a small suitcase, so possibly three people, or even like four or five small travel bags. But either way, it might, it doesn't even look that big, but it definitely fits a lot more cargo than it looks like it does. To avoid scratching up roofs without roof racks, they, got, they send you this little cloth thing here. I don't know how well that's honestly gonna work. It feels kind of cheap, but it's better than nothing. I, of course, have a sunroof on this truck, so definitely I'm gonna say I don't, I don't think I'd recommend this if you honestly had a sunroof. I don't think I'd put weight over the glass. I could be wrong, someone can correct me. Although if I had a sunroof, I think I would definitely be getting serious about a roof rack if I wanted to use this. These suitcases are obviously unloaded because I don't really want to dent my roof. But I, I doubt it really would, but at the same time, just me being paranoid. So we're actually gonna take this on a couple of tests. First is we're just gonna go for a little drive I'm gonna have my GoPro set up outside the truck so you all can see the, the roof bag. And then I'm gonna have my camera, this camera you all are watching this through, inside so we can have some commentary. Just drive down the road, see what it does. And then second, we're gonna take this thing through a car wash with this strap to the roof. Obviously it's weatherproof. And it's cloudy today, but I don't think it's actually even supposed to rain. All right, test one of this roof bag. How well does it do just in normal driving? So, first observation, there is a little bit more wind noise, and some of that I think is from the actual roof bag itself, just creating some, and it's supposed to be aerodynamic, according to their, well, their advertising material. But also I think we got some wind noise just by the fact that yes, it is mounted under the weather stripping, so now some wind noise is gonna get in. Let's see how well this thing does it. 50 miles an hour. Definitely watching through the sunroof, watching that little cloth that they supply so you can put down it. It blows all around. I don't know if it'd be a good idea to maybe even trim that so that way it doesn't make as much. It 
blow around as much maybe might might be a good idea I just threw it on and went from there but I don't know how well you all can hear it from inside in this audio there's definitely some wind noise you can hear but I mean overall I think if you turn the radio on and listen to music you wouldn't have a problem driven way worse on long trips. I, a while ago, we rented a Nissan Xterra with mud tires on it, and that thing was the absolute worst road trip I've ever taken. Four hours of listening to whining mud tires. So definitely this is nowhere near as bad as that. I think I would, I think after, if the radio was on, I think I'd forget about it in a matter of minutes. Sitting at a red light as always, because Florida red lights. Already gotten a couple of looks from people like, what in the world is that thing on top of the truck? So yeah, it definitely gets you a little bit of attention, but you know what? I think this is gonna be a, a pass that hasn't blown off the roof yet. Probably gonna get out and check the straps here in a second, but I think phase two, let's go ahead and go to a car wash. Got one that's a good 20 minutes away from here, but I, I know of one in town. So probably just gonna go ahead and go over to that car wash and let's find out if if this thing holds up to a car wash Then I think we'll go ahead and call it good now. Of course my big concern is yes the weather stripping is pulled back I'm hoping that water does not get in and ruin anything in the truck because of that. So hopefully That should be fine. But like I said that wouldn't be that wouldn't be I don't think that would be the bags fault that would be the fault of this truck for not having a roof rack, but Fingers crossed, it just I'm probably gonna check all that too before we do that. So I'm gonna see you all when I get to the car wash. Alright, 20 minutes worth of driving later. I have finally made it to the car wash. So now the fun part. The first service button on the screen. Well, the transaction is being processed. All right, patiently wait. Please pull forward, forward into the wash. Okay. Now here it goes. And I gotta say this, guys, I'm actually more worried about the GoPro than I am this bag. Oh, say it's waterproof. Both the GoPro and the bag. Oh, here it goes. So like I said, I'm, I'm mostly worried about these little spots that I have out for the little channels, the little strap things to go through, but I don't think that's gonna be as big of a worry as I would have thought. I did, I did check them before I came through here, so hopefully they're good to go.
Also, my truck is so dirty right now. It's actually two in one. I'm also washing the truck. Oh, let's wait and find out. Hopefully this bag will work. Also, I gotta say this, I don't think I'd recommend having the bag on in a car wash, just because I don't think it's really recommended to do that. I don't think it's gonna be a big deal. Car wash is plenty high enough. Same goes for the GoPro. I don't think I'd recommend that either, but we'll find out. This is obviously touchless, not a brushed car wash. Definitely would not recommend either one in a brushed car wash. When in the car behind me, it looked like she was pointing up at the roof like, hey, you know you got something on your roof, right? Yeah, I know it's there. If anything, I just hope when the... I hope when the company watches this video, because I know they will, I just hope they don't cringe at the fact that this is getting also the, the wax and clear coat and all that, whatever stuff these this water has in it, because I know this isn't just... just pure water and soap. I know it's also the wax and everything you get with the ultimate wash. I guess that's a real test. Yeah, I don't think the straps through the door is gonna happen again like that. I think that's causing some water to get in. Pull it through this air dryer. guys made it back home with the truck a lot of water spots now on it from the horrible touchless car wash yeah I found that best strategy is to just go ahead and like tie them up like you would a ratchet strap I think that works a little better I'm actually about to climb up here and release these straps either side just to just to check I just love how when I'm trying to film every car in the neighborhood comes by I'm gonna set you all down here so I can go ahead and let the straps down so we can check these bags. All right, all right guys, moment of truth now. As I said before, this is like nice thick rubber material. And it's got this little weather, weather flap. So realistically, I don't think it should be leaving, letting much water through it. Moment of truth. Let's back some. Oh, I'm going to get up inside the truck. All right. I don't know if that's probably. I don't know if this was on the, uh, these bags before. These bags have also seen a couple of vacations. Well, it may have been on the bag before. Ahead of time, if we pull this one out. Bag number one. Yeah, I don't see any evidence of moisture in here, though. I'll get to bag number two. Nope, all that dust from storage was intact, because can't go anywhere, because 2020. Well, those look fine. If we can get them in there, way in the distance is bag number three. I'm going to set you all down one more time, and I'm going to get that out of the front of the bag. All right, 
perfectly dry. So I don't see any sign of water from these. Maybe on the one that was in the very back here, this bag, but really I don't know if that was, I honestly don't know if that was on before I did this experiment or not. So overall, it did pretty well, I think. 125 bucks, so it's easily one of the better price. Now there are ones that are cheaper, some like Chinese knockoffs, but 125 bucks really isn't that bad of money, I don't think. It'd be something, it'd be a must have if you had like a full roof rack or a roof basket. You know, if you had gear that you want to put in there for overlanding or for trail running, I definitely would recommend this bag. Those door straps actually were what I think was the pleasant surprise. If we come back over here, where they were. I was very paranoid about, about them pulling paint off. This one's a little bit wedged on now because that's where the sunroof goes and yeah, that just pulled a little. But overall that should be fine. Oh, put the weather stripping back. I definitely think they worked. I think that was the big pleasant surprise here was that they worked better than intended. I, I did not have faith in these. Yeah, so overall, I'm very happy with this product. I definitely am going to recommend this to people. Once again, the link will be below for Amazon where I purchased this one. I'm dirt on the truck. So, definitely going to recommend it. It's definitely be going in my gear pile. I definitely do want to get a roof rack for this truck, so if I ever do get a roof rack, this definitely is going to be better for that. I, I like part that goes into the channels, but I definitely am not going to recommend it. I don't think I would go out of my way to use those again. But now that we got the bag used, I can definitely unzip it a little easier. Definitely looks like it keeps bags decently dry. I mean, like I said, this one here, I'm not sure if that was even on here before or not. So overall, I think I would definitely say $125 well spent. So let me know in the comment section below what you think about this product. Hopefully some more people will purchase this from my affiliate link, please. Anyway, if you like this video, go ahead and leave a thumbs up. If you are stopping in for the first time, go ahead and subscribe because hopefully we can get more product reviews going on this channel because definitely enjoy making this. Definitely, if, if I like the product, that means I get something well worth it. I get to share it with you all so now everybody following me can get something good. So like I said, go ahead and subscribe for that. Anyway, take care. Have a good day.